Hi, I'm Wayne Bryan, the Producing Artistic Director for Music Theater Wichita. The 2014 summer season has gone by so swiftly for us, and we're already up to the big season finale. And when I say big, I really mean big. This is a spectacular show which will feature all new sets by Bruce Brockman, all new costumes by Debbie Roberts, and a wonderful, talented company of players. I'd like to introduce you to some of the people involved with our production of 42nd Street. I am Damon Kirsch, I'm playing Julian Marsh, and he is a, a Florence Ziegfeld. He's a showman and a director and, uh, and a great lover of Broadway and the Great White the Way. The heart underneath all of the show of 42nd Street is very much filled with the era of the Depression. We're coming right out of the crash in 29, and it's clear that Julian has lost a great deal in that. And so these few years later, this is his opportunity to put himself back on top of Broadway and to maybe replenish his coffers, um, but to, to put his name back in its proper place as one of the, the luminary uh, directors of Broadway. Dorothy is an established star, Dorothy Brock, on Broadway, and uh, he mentions in his first scene that it's been 10 years since she's had a big hit. Uh, but she is also the financial engine behind 42nd Street because she is uh, an, a love interest of Abner Dillon, who's the, the deep pockets behind our show. So he has to tread lightly around Dorothy Brock, and he certainly admires her talent and her skill, but his vision for Pretty Lady, for the musical within the musical, is very much to have a young dancer. And Dorothy is a more established star and better known as a singer and an actress, and dancing is not necessarily her strong point, so that's a little bit of a conflict. Um, and then we have Peggy, who's the newbie, uh, as she says, and new to the cast, and a, a raw beginner, as he says, but a powerful talent. And I think that, very much like Ziegfeld, Julian Marsh is uh, inspired by and attracted to great talent. My name is Tracy Lohr, and I am from LA, Los Angeles. And yes, I've been here before. This is my sixth show with Music Theater of Wichita. And um, last year we did Betty Blue Eyes, which was wonderful. This is the third time I've done the role of Dorothy Brock in this show under the direction of John Ingstrom. Um, and each time it's been the same, but just a little bit different. Maybe a little bit different for me. As I think as I've matured, I, to me, I hope that the role has matured a little bit in, in, the, in my characterization and in my understanding of the character in the show. What woman doesn't want to play a prima donna and, be, uh, and get applauded for it? <laughs> um, I think it's every woman's dream. But um, this role is, is wonderful because she not only has gets to pull a little bit of attitude, she's glamorous at the same time, and elegant, and, uh, and uh, at the end gets to be very gracious. In the heart of little old New York, you'll find a thoroughfare. It's the part of little old New York that runs into Times Square. A crazy quilt that Wall Street Jack built. If you've got a little time to spare, I want to take you there. My name is Tessa Grady, and I'm playing Peggy Sawyer. 
and this is my debut at Musical Theater Wichita. And can I just say that you guys treat actors and everyone here so well. It's so exciting to be here and having this experience. Um, I have played Peggy one time before with John Engstrom, and it was such a great, just natural acting experience for me. You know, usually when actresses are on stage, you're, you're playing a character and you, you have to put on so many different layers for that one character. But for me, I think the reason why I, I love Peggy so much and I'm drawn to wanting to play her in more places is because I kind of just play myself on stage. <laughs> We're both uh, young and kind of innocent and newbies in a way to, to the theater experience, especially here, you know, everyone here has, has been to Wichita before and has done all these amazing things and I just, I feel like I'm kind of just starting out and so it's exciting to kind of share that experience with Peggy. There's nothing else in the world like performing and kind of leading the company in that finale number in the 42nd Street Ballet because the journey that she has already taken through the show and the change in her where she just becomes narrator, star, dancer, singer, like everything is packed into this tight little package that finishes this beautiful show and it's just, it, it's elating. Come and meet those dancing feet On the avenue I'm taking you to 42nd Street Hear the beat of dancing feet It's the song I love, the melody of 42nd Street Little Nick. My name is Sean Wiley and uh, my history with Music Theater of Wichita dates back many, many years. No, I, uh, I, uh, when I was in college, um, I went to Carnegie Mellon and my summers I spent here in, uh, at Music Theater of Wichita and was lucky enough to play some roles at Charlie Dalrymple and Brigadoon and Wayne Frake and State Fair. And uh, I moved to New York in 1999 and the first show I ever auditioned for was 42nd Street. I played Billy Lawler in a regional production and then a couple of years later, ended up being cast as the understudy in the Broadway revival. Went to Moscow for 16 weeks to do it as well. So it's, it's, it's a big, been a big part of my life. There's also a moment in the show, uh, I Know Now, it's a, a song that Dorothy sings uh, toward the end of the first act. And there's, it's maybe 16 bars, it's very, very short, but it's one of the most beautiful, lush, mel melodic moments in the show for me. And it's always been one of my favorites. Um, and the money dances just so much fun. I'm young and healthy and you've got charms. It would really be a sin not to have you in my arms. I'm young and healthy and so are you. When the moon is in the sky, tell me what am I to do? If I'm Amy Baker Sweetall and my love affair with this show began in 1998 when Wayne and John did it here at MT Wichita. And then I was able to do the first national Broadway tour, which was, the Randy, which was Randy Skinner's revival version. And I got to play Phyllis for a year. And then I tapped my way back to Wichita State University, where I am the associate professor of musical theater and I'm so proud because I have five students in this show. I play Anytime Annie, and I'm a tough, sassy woman, but when I meet Peggy Sawyer, there is no denying her talent. And so it's very important to me that I get her in front of the dance director and then in front of Julian Marsh. And then ultimately, I get the idea that she needs to be the one to save the show. Okay, I'm John Engstrom, and I'm directing and choreographing this show. Um, I was the, origi the original dance captain on Broadway with the original production, which Gower Champion uh, created. This is his work. 
This is his legacy and I've been passing it along and this is my third time here and I couldn't be happier. We have brand new sets, brand new costumes and a fabulous, fabulous cast. The underscoring of where in the money for there's a, some a radio thing on every single day about the, the, the financial thing and you hear in the background da 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 and so it's just still, it still lasted this whole time and it's iconic, it's another iconic number in the show. Busby Berkeley did the movie and so th this is a takeoff on Busby Berkeley and so you have, suddenly you have these ragamuffins fishing through it and then all of a sudden they come up with a dime and then it's, a, it's sort of like a dream ballet. All of a sudden you see them, they have, my God, we've got a, we've got a dime, what are we gonna do with this? And then all of a sudden these girls, these showgirls come on with giant dimes and then all of a sudden a bigger dime comes on and Billy Lawler, the star of the show, jumps up and dances on it. It's a big tap number and uh, it's just, it's, it's a fantasy. It's like a child, it's a child's fantasy of everything like that show business, all that, okay? It's, it's just a great, great show that people go to see again and again and again.